There you go. We got our badges all ready to go. What is your name? Fernando. And uh, company? Garmentprinter.com. What's nice about these systems too is when you buy one, mm -hmm. guess what? As my business grows, I can just plug in another one. Oh really? So got, That's yeah. pretty cool. So you have a modular setup that allows you to address. I have uh, 48 pieces. I could either set them all up and do all 48 within those, or I could do individual jobs on each one. I'm doing 3D mock chenille on this setup here. So and this the is ones, stuff that you don't really see. And the ones that you normally see using this type of material? It's uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. those those high end. I've been in the embroidery game for close to 30 years. I, I worked for Tajima. I worked for Barrett. And I started as a technician. I was a trainer. I know all the nuances, and there's a lot of great machines out there. Yeah, you got me. But when I saw this machine and all the different little uh, uh, mechanical uh, uh, positions that it takes compared to others, the smallest cylinder has no trimmers, fewest moving parts. These are all things that a company like mine, when it comes to the support side, we relish. Absolutely relish because the customer is going to have fewer moving parts, fewer potential problems. The resources that are behind this company and the equipment are just through the roof. Things that don't exist with other platforms, even though they're more reputable pieces of equipment. So there's just uh, the active feed that just opens up the door, being able to feed the right amount of thread versus having a qualified, experienced embroider to know how to adjust attention to minimize puckering. In this, I'm doing uh, a 3D foam vermilana thread with the, the, the mock chenille on a foam cap. This is supposed to pucker like crazy. It's uh -huh. not. Why? Because of this. I know what it does. I'm uh, playing with it and I'm showing it off right here with the different pieces you can do. And again, with other embroidery machines, you just can't do it. An experienced guy like me might be able to do it, but now this, all these tools allows uh, everybody, everyday embroiders to be able to have fun with the unit. Cool. Okay. So there you go, guys. You're always asking about what's the best machine. Here's a guy that has actually worked with number one and number two in the industry, uh, Tajima and um, Baradan. He knows what he's talking about. So go ahead and give these guys a call. Garmentprinter.com or follow me on Instagram at Garmentprinter, Garmentprinter with a D-O-T dot com. And your phone number? 562-408-6144. Fernando? Fernando Padilla. Okay. So hey guys, I'm here with Jeff. Jeff with Hirsch Solutions. I'm based out of Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, we are showing the newest smaller machine from Tajima. It's called the Tajima Sai. It's a great machine for somebody just starting into the business. Price pointed for under $11,000. That's the machine, training. It also comes with a basic lettering editing software with 15 fonts. Your biggest sewing field is 11 by 8. So that's your biggest field. But it also does the 270 caps like we're doing here. Great machine. So all your service and support is done by us. Um, it's the newest small machine from Tajima. Cool. Okay, so Jeff, uh, another thing that uh, my followers uh, ask me about is, sure. do you guys sell used machines? We do sell used machines. We currently have a few um, 2011 machines uh -huh. going for just under $10,000. They come with a 90-day warranty. And this is single heads? Or? Single head 15 needle machine. Okay, and then the software is separate? Software would be separate, correct. Okay. Depending on whether you got lettering editing or digitizing software. Okay, so Jeff, Jeff is normally in forward. Right? Fort Worth. The Fort Worth, um, but you guys can give him a call. He, I'm pretty sure he's going to give you the number right now. Sure. I know I told you guys that I was going to get in touch with Hirsch, especially with Jeff, and I already had spoken with him about giving him your, your number because you guys keep asking me, what is the business machine? What is the machine that you guys recommend for a startup company? Tajima is the best machine, in, in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure. It's, it's in, in my world, opinion. Right? I've been in the business yeah. for over 20 years. It is by far the best machine out there. Yeah and the service and support bar none. We have over 40 certified techs across the U.S. That's more than anybody in the industry. If you'd like to reach me, uh, I'm in the Burleson office just south of Fort Worth. My phone number is 817-822-1223. There you go. Give him a call. And uh, if you guys don't have the, the full amount of the, of the machine, you know, to come up from with the ten thousand dollars per machine, they can always walk you through uh, financing. They can help you with financing all that stuff. They're really good. Uh, I actually told Jeff this is the first time that we actually talk, you know, person face to face. But I talked to him several times on the phone, even when I had problems with my Tajima, and they 
help me out. Uh, customer service is an A plus with them guys. And you know, with me, customer service makes the actual company. So give them a call whenever you get, get it, you guys get a chance. Thank you, and you can also see us on the web at www.hsi.us. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, bro. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, this is a 100 watt laser, laser cut, and it's a galvo system, CO2, and uh, can add a, a lot of different materials like uh, polyester, fleece, polar fleece, cotton, denim, suede, leather. So it's up to you. Also, it's not just for textile, you can add some wood, uh, plexiglass, glass, acrylic. Uh, vinyl, you can cut, also cut, not just etching, because oh, really? cut materials. Cool, nice. What kind of software does he use? It comes with his own software, so you just have to create a vector, like a Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator, you just create the outlines, uh -huh. bring your design here, right. and you convert to laser cut, to laser etching. Oh, okay, cool, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you're the same company with uh, Hirsch? Yes, Hirsch. The sister is from Saint Italy. Uh -huh. and Hirsch is the, the distributor in United States. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Aparte la máquina lo que tiene de bueno que no tiene el picker, como tiene la Tejima para cortar el hilo. Esta no lo tiene. Entonces el alto de la gorra puede ser más alto, puede ser de 3 a 3 pulgadas y un cuarto. En cambio la Tejima solo puede ser de dos y medio y la Barugo puede ser dos y medio. Sí. Okay. En esta máquina no, porque no tenemos el pico, el que recoge el hilo. Sí, ajá. Viene sin eso. Entonces, ¿qué pasó? El, el hueco de donde pasa la aguja es una pulgada una casi. Pulgada hacia adelante. Ajá. Entonces nos da más espacio. Ok, nos puede dar un poquito de información para los que miran en español. ¿Cuánto cuesta la máquina? La ¿Dónde la pueden puede conseguir? Entre 15 mil y 18 mil dólares. Dependiendo del paquete. O sea, dependiendo del paquete. Viene con uh, dos batidores eh, magnéticos uh -huh. para gorro, cachuchas. ¿Ya en magnético? Sí. Ok. okay. Viene con 8 millones de putadas de ¿8 millones? 8 millones. 8 millones. Sí. Se puede trabajar en el sistema Wi-Fi uh -huh. o sistema de USB. ¿Y la marca de la, de la máquina? ZSK. ZSK. Ok, nomás para que sepan, yo sé que no me pueden ver, pero la máquina no es transparente. Nada más la tienen transparente para que vean que esta máquina no tiene gear. Ni castillos. ¿Ni qué, perdón? Castillos. Ni castillos. O sea, no trabajo con castillos de bronce ni nada de eso. Ajá. Esto es lo que le estoy indicando. No tiene el pica que las otras tienen. Está completa diferente. Entonces, Ajá. el hueco de la aguja sale más afuera. Por eso el alto del diseño va a ser 3 pulgadas, 3 pulgadas y cuarto. Eso también tiene que ver la clase de gorra que uno de cachucha. Que uno usa. Claro. Sí. Uh -huh. y tiene con 12 agujas, 15 agujas, 18. Y si alguien la quiere, botella. si alguien quiere contactarlo para. para... Nos pueden llamar a Michael Otero al 954 940 1660. En inglés, por favor, también. Uh, my name is Michael Otero. 954-940-1660 Gracias Alright, so here's a little Catspit sticker, a card, here's a little propaganda sheet, this is the Amex, here's a color thing for the opaque colors Okay, so you know what to do, can you tell them what, who you are even though what? everybody knows who you are? Everybody knows who I am, I'm, I'm Jonathan from Catspit Productions <laughs> Kind of put them on the yeah. spot, guys. Here's my uh, water-based ink screen that you've seen in all my videos. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, 
So here's the thing, guys. You know that I came to the ISS convention all the way from that, from Texas, just, just to, to see me. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, just to see him, right? And Matsui. But I'm gonna tell you right now, Matsui kind of let me down because they didn't have any samples. And when I asked for samples and I asked for you know like different different stuff for you guys, they didn't have them. So I'm walking around, I see Jonathan, and he's got samples, and I was like, hey, this is pretty cool ink. So I think, guys, what I'm going to be doing, scratch the Matsui uh, uh, kit, and we're going to go with... with uh, Amex from Catspit Productions. There you go. We're going to go with uh, Jonathan. Give a little thumbs up, give a little thumbs up, that's what you guys are going to get. It's good stuff. Yeah. You'll love it. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're welcome. <laughs> Ok, uh, so estamos aquí con Juan, me encontré en mi tocayo de Ricoma y muchos de ustedes me preguntan acerca de las máquinas bordadoras y ustedes me han pedido, hey Juan, sube más videos en español acerca de bordar, cuánto cuesta una máquina, cómo podemos entrar, a cuánto necesitamos para comprar una máquina y qué es lo que necesita. Pues aquí estamos, encontramos a Juan de Ricoma, un representante de Ricoma, y les va a explicar un poquito más de qué es lo que hace la máquina. ¿Qué necesitas? ¿Dónde la puedes conseguir? ¿Cuánto te cuesta? Y si necesitas ayuda, él te va a decir. So, Juan. Um... Bueno, eh, esta es nuestra máquina comercial de 15 agujas. Eh, está el precio de esta máquina es de 12.600 dólares. Y te viene un set completo de bastidores. Te incluimos el cap driver para ser portado de gorras. Te damos soporte técnico limitado a los 7 días de la semana. Y también 5 años de garantía en el equipo. Ok. Um... ¿Le, ¿Le dan los hilos también o yo no? Le viene un kit de comienzo donde tuvimos una cierta cantidad de hilos junto con lo que es las bobinas y también algunas tijeras para hacer la limpieza del, del gorro. ¿Y el software? El software le damos uno básico, que Ajá. es Wilcom de Custody Light. So, el, ¿Cuál es el Wilcom? Wilcom de Custody Light Before. De Custodio, ok. So, de Custodio es como un, en, un entry level, pero puedes hacer muchas cosas de un entry level. So, ahora, este, ¿dónde la pueden conseguir, Juan? La máquina la puedes comprar directamente con nosotros. Okay. Tenemos una oficina central en Miami, Florida y también una oficina de servicio en Los Ángeles, California. ¿Puedes mostrar una de sus tarjetas para que, claro que, sí. para que puedan hablar y a ver a quién le ha, a quién le, ha, le a quién estaría mejor hablarle? ¿Ok? Ahí pueden ver, o sea, como pueden ver, pueden agarrar de una cabeza y allá tienen las de cabezas múltiples. Una máquina más pequeña. Y como hemos platicado en el pasado, la máquina de Ricoma es una máquina muy buena para empezar. O sea, si vas empezando, no sabes, no conoces mucho, esta, esta máquina, dependiendo de qué, de qué nivel estás tú, la puedes pagar para atrás en qué, un año. Sí, en un año la máquina solita se va a pagar. Entonces, yo como les digo a todos ustedes, no tengan miedo, entrenle, está fácil, es muy fácil. Ah, puedes diseñar en Corel y luego ya lo pasas a, a Wacom. Es muy fácil. So, de nuevo, hablen a Juan, ya ven, habla español y también habla inglés. Juan, ¿nos puede dar un poquito de información en inglés? Claro que sí. So, you can find me uh, in Recoma International Corp. Uh, our website is recoma.com and uh, my direct line will be the extension 3204. Thank you. So, there you go. For those of you that did not understand, hey, what the heck was he, was he saying? If you want to call him, he's going to pick up the phone and speak to you either in Spanish or in English. Very easy. Okay, guys? Cool. Thank, Thank you, Juan. Thank you. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, right? <laughs> Passport? Yeah, you can put them on any automatic m and Specifically. Yeah. What kind of inks are you using? Rutland. Rutland? Rutland, yeah, it's plastic salt. I've got a little uh, like reducer in it. Uh -huh. So a little softer hand feel. You can use uh, higher mesh screens and uh, run uh, you know wet on wet without really having any build up. No problem. Hmm. Yeah the print looks really good. It's pretty neat. Yeah.